Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 354. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 353 to 356. Hey, in this trick we have some blood sugar levels before breakfast, after breakfast, before lunch, after lunch, and we need to summarize them according to certain categories. So over here we have 0 to 60, 60 to 100, and we want to summarize for each one of these five categories, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all of the BBs, all of the ABs count for each one of these categories. Now before we do this, whenever you have a table like this, I like to be as explicit as possible. I want to put a label here that says greater than 0, less than or equal to 60. But I want to type them in, so I'm going to highlight and the active cell at the top, I'm going to type equal and I'm going to create a label. Click there, ampersand allows us to join, double quote allows us to put text, so I'm going to say greater than space and then this is A V S for absolute value of sugar space less than or equal to space and double quotes so all we've done is join this this text another ampersand and the upper value we're creating uh, well, a label so we've highlighted the cells hold control and tap enter to populate all the cells with that formula now look at that, we have our mutually exclusive categories. Our formula is going to dis decide whether the, the counting is mutually exclusive, but at least there's a label here for anyone using this so that they know explicitly how everything's being done. Now let's come over here and highlight all of the cells in advance. Oops, I need one more here. Oh no, that's, that's enough. And now I'm going to uh, do show you two formulas. The first one is sum product, and this will work in uh, many, many versions back. Uh, and there's an array, one, two, and really what we're going to do is create some trues and falses. Uh, are they greater than uh, zero? And, 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 D, are they the value in that table less than or equal to 60? When both true false statements come out to be true, then it will count. The way we're going to do this, we're going to have some true falses there for the first one, some true falses there for the second one. And the way we're going to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros, double negative. Double negative, open parentheses, and now we'll put our uh, statement in here to get our trues and falses. Click on the top of BB, that's the first value in the BB column. Control Shift Down Arrow to highlight all the way down and hit F4. But you got to hit F4 twice because that dollar sign needs to be only in front of the row. When we copy down across the BB, down across these cells that are going to be counting, we want that locked. But when we move over to this column, we don't want the C locked. We want it to move to D, which is where the A, B is in D column. All right, now for some product, we just do our comparative operator right next to the range. We say greater than, and then we click on our zero right here. All right, and this one needs to be locked. I'm going to hit the F4 one, two, three times. That zero, when we copy this direction, needs to be locked on the column, but when we move down, needs to move to that 60. Close parentheses, and then watch this. I'm just going to highlight uh, all of this right here, Control C. Now that's the first array, comma, and I'm going to control V. Now that range is right. Uh, we have a value 60 in K, so I'm going to change this to a K. And this comparative operator is not right, so we have to say less than or equal to. Now we come to the end and put a close parenthesis. There's a, a, a second array, and whenever there's a true here, It'll be converted to a 1 with that double negative, and then multiply wherever there's a true here. It'll become a 1 from the double negative. 1 times 1 is 1, and that's how the sum product will get those two conditions and then count. Now, I've highlighted all the cells, so I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter to populate all those cells. And there we have it. Oh, I did one too many. I don't need that one down here. Now, notice that uh, I color-coded this. Actually, let's verify. I'm going to click on the last one, double click it and look at my range finder. Did it get the, the right ones here? Did it get the right one there? Yeah, it did. I'm going to click Escape. Now, notice I have yellow, orange, all these colors, because when you have a big data set like that, I would like to be able to just pick out this 5, 6, 5, or 5 in the BB and visually go over here and count with my fingers, or not so much count, but look, oh, look, there they are. So that's 
we're going to do this with conditional formatting. Now I've done the first four already and we'll do the yellow one here together. Now notice there's two conditions. Each cell we're going to ask the same two conditions. Is this cell greater than or equal to 0 and is it less than or equal to 60? When both conditions come out then that color will be applied. Now how do we get two conditions, two true falses in a cell? We use the and function. Now I'm going to go to home styles, conditional formatting, a new rule. That is how you get to conditional formatting or use the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D. Now there's the uh, rules that are already applied. I'm going to go to new rule. Click on formula. Click here. And I'm going to type equals and open parentheses. Now the first thing is I need every one of these cells to, to uh, have this same question, the same two true false question asked. So I'm going to click there and hit the F4 key to get rid of all the dollar signs. The first one, is it greater than, now I have to scroll over here and get that zero right there and that's locked in all directions, comma, and then the second one will say C5 and this one is less than or equal to this upper end. And there it is. Two, there's a true false statement right there. There's another true false statement right there when they both come out true. The and will deliver a true. Now, this formula is going to be stored in memory, but it's as if it got stored in memory and copied into every single cell. So now we click when this comes out true, true, this format will be applied yellow. And then click OK, click OK, and I got my fingers crossed. See, there's no yellow. That should be yellow when we come clean. Ah, oh, and there it is. Just totally amazing. Now there are some values uh, that are above and uh, we could have added an extra category here but they remain white. The main category that uh, actually uh, this would be, watch this, this is totally simple. We go like this and then we come over here and because this is a formula and this is a formula we come over here and we're going to say uh, 220 and uh, we're going to say something big like uh, three, I don't know when you die, what sugar level, but there it is. Now it'll count those ones also. Now this formatting right here, I'm going to clear the formatting home. If I can even remember where clear formatting is, I know the keyboard trick, a clear uh, format. And then I'll add a border. All right, so we have uh, that count there also. Now there's one other way you could do this. You could use, if you have 2007, you can use count ifs. And I'm going to Alt WG to zoom in here, equals count ifs with an S, and this will take multiple criteria, multiple ranges. Just needs each range and criteria right in order. So I'm going to come over and get that range. Click on the top, Control Shift Down, arrow, F4, F4, comma, and then in double quotes, greater than in double quotes, ampersand. So you have to uh, ampersand, join that in quotes and ampersand with the count ifs, whereas the sum products you just used it, uh, the comparative operator right next to it. And then we'll hit F4, 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 and then comma, that same range right there. And then in double quotes, less than, equal to, and double quote, ampersand, and we'll go get that 60 right there, and that one also has to be F4, F4, F4. Close parentheses, and then control, enter, and there we have our same values. So we could go ahead and uh, go with count ifs in uh, 2007. It calculates a little bit faster if you have big data. Uh, sum ifs, very versatile function. Uh, and then we did some conditional formatting. All right, we'll see you next trick.